Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be testing the LoRa E32 transmission module from eBike. The LoRa module uses UART communication with TX and RX pins, and it has a total of 7 pins that will be connected to the serial interface. Other parts include a mini breadboard for connecting the circuits, a USB to TTL adapter to connect the LoRa E32 to the computer for testing the LoRa communication transmission, and several jumper wires. We can also use other types of TTL to USB adapters. I am adding jumper wires to the VCC and ground pins, which will be used to connect to the M0 and M1 pins on the LoRa E32. The first step is to download the RF setting software. Visit the eByte website at cdebyte.com, select Page Module. Then select the LoRa SX1278. Find the LoRa product you are using. In this video, I am using the E32433T20DT. Once selected, go to the product page, click on File Download, and then click RF setting at the bottom to download the software. After downloading the zip file, extract it. The RF setting software is now ready to use for getting and setting the parameters of the LoRa device we will be using. Next, to test the send and receive functionality of the LoRa transmission, we need real-term software. This software facilitates interaction between the computer and the LoRa devices, allowing us to send and receive messages between two LoRa devices that we will be testing. After downloading, install Realterm on your computer. In addition to using Realterm, as alternative, we can also use Hercules software to facilitate interaction between the computer and the LoRa devices. This is the wiring setup used to get or set the parameters of the LoRa device in sleep mode. Don't forget to connect the M0 and M1 pins on the LoRa to the VCC pin. Ensure that the RX and TX connections are crossed between the LoRa and the TTL USB adapter. Don't forget to download and install the driver for the TTL to USB adapter according to the type of adapter you are using, so that the device can be detected in the device manager. On your computer, open Device Manager, and under Ports, you should see the two devices connected to your USB to serial adapter. In this computer, it detects ports number 12 and 13. Next, open the eByte RF setting application, choose English as the language, select the port, first, I select port 12, then click Open Port, and finally click Get Param. The application will then display the parameters stored in the LoRa device. In these parameters, I didn't change many default values. Make sure fixed mode is disabled, and set the address, and channel. I set the address to 85, and the channel to 20. Next, click set param to save the parameters to the LoRa device, and then click close port to close the port. We can also open the port and retrieve parameters again to verify if the parameters are stored or not. Next, set the parameters for the next LoRa device connected to port 13, ensuring that the settings, including address and channel, are the same as the previous LoRa device. Don't forget to click Set Param to save the parameters to the device. Next, change the wiring to normal mode so that the LoRa can perform transmission. Set M0 and M1 to ground to enable normal operation. After connecting M0 and M1 to ground, reconnect the LoRa module to the USB port on the computer. Next, we can test the LoRa transmission by sending messages between the LoRa devices. Next, open two instances of the Hercules application. In each instance, configure the serial connection to connect to a different LoRa port. Set the first Hercules instance to port 12 and the second Hercules window to port 13. 
Once both are connected to their respective LoRa ports, send a message from one LoRa device. The other instance of Hercules should receive the message that was sent. This allows you to test the LoRa transmission between the two devices. By following these steps, you can ensure that low raw communication works effectively between the devices being tested. We can also perform the same using the real-term application to test LoRa transmission. In this video, we conducted tests of low raw transmission using the E32 module from eByte. We began by downloading the RF setting software from the eByte website to configure the low raw device parameters. Next, we used a USB to serial adapter to connect the low raw module to the computer and configure the parameters for each low raw device using the RF setting software. After ensuring the correct parameters, we conducted transmission tests between two low raw devices using applications like Realterm or Hercules to verify communication functionality. To see more details about the LoRa E32, please download its manual from the product page. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video can assist you in experimenting with LoRa. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.